Asian dudes have small penises, they're shy and awkward. Let's talk about why Asian dudes are so worth dating and that not only Asian women can be hot and attractive. And you have to stick till the end if you want to know my favorite type of Asian dudes. I've heard too many shitty stereotypes about my Asian brothers out there, short, feminine, nerds with small peepees. The thing about stereotypes is, even when they are not exactly true, the more you repeat them, the more true they become. And the more we say Asians are awkward and have no game, the more insecure and shy they become. The only thing it doesn't work with is the size of a penis. <laughs> It doesn't normally get smaller because you think it's smaller, but we'll get to this later. The question is, who the hell did this to Asian guys? Why do we think about them like that? And before you say it's an evil media and Hollywood, I will say no. The reason why Asian guys are ranked so low is us, Asian women. No! Blame it all on us, Jesus Christ, because we are putting them down. Have you seen all these freaking clips of young Asian women be like, I will never date an Asian guy. I'm not attracted to Asians. I just, I've, I've never found an Asian guy attractive. And it's just preference. Me too. Like, I just never have. Like, like I'm not like opposed to it, what? but it's just like, it's, it's like never. it just came up in my head. Like, oh, like it's kind of weird that I've like never been attracted to an Asian guy. The dumbest excuse out there is, oh, he looks exactly just like my cousin and my father and I don't want to date my father. Asian guys remind me of my brother. What the? How do you think other races do this? What the hell? Why don't you marry another species like a Geico? It looks nothing like your cousin, hopefully. We make our Asian brothers believe that they are not good enough because even Asian women won't date them. What kind of situation is that? My take on this, it's the good old white fetish because I had it for the longest time. I grew up in a city with like 99% of white population. That's what you get when you're born in Russia. And I believe that I'm not as attracted as my Russian friends and that white dudes had no romantic interest in me. Which was probably true because on the contrast to American men, Russian men never had a yellow fetish. I considered white people better and cooler than us and of course I wanted to date a white dude. Now that I'm almost 30 years old, I don't care about the race at all. Are you nice? Are you smart? Are you attractive? That's all that matters, not the race. Now let's clear out some concerns and questions you have about Asian dudes, shall we? First let's look at these pictures. These are some hot dudes and they are Asians. So being Asian and being hot can coexist in one person? What a surprise! Next point is they are not masculine enough, they are super shy. So I've been watching this YouTubers to Chinese guy. Asians of the immigrants. So I guess that's an interesting part. Yeah, for sure. And I think that that- And tell me they are not masculine enough. They look pretty dominant and not shy to me. Also, let's all agree that masculinity is not about muscles. Because there are buff guys like him. And skinny guys like him. Who do you think is more masculine and more attractive? Now let's talk about how short Asian dudes are. First of all, obviously women nowadays have height fetish and short guys are severely discriminated on the dating scene. It's just so dumb that we would exclude someone from our dating pool just because they are not six feet. And I am no different, I also wanted to date tall guys until I realized that if I'm truly into someone, I don't care how tall they are, I'm just attracted to them. A short guy can be everything, smart, masculine, hot, and kind. And if the height is a deal breaker for you, girl, you are missing out, okay? And the last one, probably the biggest in terms of concerns, but actually the smallest in terms of like physics, <laughs> uh, small penises. So I'm gonna say two things I can't believe I'm gonna say, okay? First thing, if a guy has a small penis, it doesn't mean he is not good in bed. So again, you have to check your priorities. Second thing, I've known Asian dudes with bigger penises and I've known Caucasian guys with smaller penises. Yes, statistically I'm sure there is enough proof that Asian dudes on average have smaller penises, just like Asian women probably have smaller vaginas, but it doesn't tell you anything about how good the sex is. And before we get to my favorite type of Asians, let me just remind you the pros of going out with an Asian dude. 
money. Asians are smart, they work hard, and they normally don't spend their money on some bullshit. They save up a lot and then they buy houses. Second one is they don't cheat. They are not as spoiled by women's attention and they tend to be more traditional and more loyal. And the third thing is that you're gonna get familiar with a completely different culture and it's amazing and you don't even have to fly outside of the US. So girls, we all need to take a closer look at Asian dudes. Now it's time for my favorite type of Asians to date. And I'm very biased here, because I'm mostly attracted to Asians from Russia and from Central Asia, because that's who I am. Descendants of Genghis Khan. What I like about them is that they're dominant and masculine. And their facial features are just handsome to me. This type of Asian dudes are very different from like Korean or Thai guys, because we were highly impacted by Russians, Russian mindset and Russian traditions. So it's gonna feel a lot like you're talking to a Russian guy, just with some Asian features. Aren't these guys hot though? That's all I had to share about dating Asian dudes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.